cleared out. There's another corner here for St. Pat's. That's the third corner of the match so far. Will be President standing over this one. Launches one in towards the box, handled up in a penalty spot, and Joe Redmond got a header on that one. Did get the final touch, it was Redmond, but the ball just rolls behind for a goal kick, two Sligo Rovers, and probably the best chance of the game so far, Declan. Yeah, absolutely. Good ball in from the left-hand side, in swinger, and landed in around the six-yard box, and big Joe Redmond got a header on it. Once again. Yeah, there's something, whenever Fabrice gets on the ball, there's just... Mahan coughing up possession, and Tommy Lonergan is there. Mahan taking a pull out of him there and concedes a free kick and John Mahan will be going into the oh referee's no. book. He's gone. John Mahan has been sent off no, here. The referee, Emmett Dynan, that's the, that's the wrong call has shown me. John Mahan a red card. That's a big decision with 20 minutes on the clock here. John Mahan giving his marching orders on his first start back for Sligo Rovers. He pulled down Tommy Lonergan just outside the box. We'll have to take a look at it here on the replay once we get a chance. Yeah. St. Pat's fans are cheering, cheerio, cheerio, and John Mahan has the shirt off already as he's going down the tunnels. We're just, just going to have a look we'll at the replay here. here. Very poor for Mahan to give yeah. possession up like that, but... Yeah. He was gosh. on the ball and he just tried to, to do a cry turn and come back around again and um, either go back to Nandro or back to the goalkeeper. And look Timmerman's and trying to catch up with him, but Branafog moves on forward to Fabrice. Lovely little spin from Fabrice Hartman. Tries to do it again, does well to stay on his feet. Bolger and Fabrice Hartman just tapping it around there. Stefan Radosayevich now with a touch, waiting for Branfeld to make a run for him. He doesn't, still with Radosayevich. Greg Bolger now again. Hartman now in the middle of the St. Patrick's athletic half. Reese Hutchinson here on the left. Comes back inside, gets it onto his left foot. Slips in Wilfus Gerald here, who's squared across the box. And Foster Hutchinson gets the strike away, and he's done it. Reese Hutchinson with the goal for Sligo Rovers. His first goal in the bitter red. The man on loan from Cheltenham Town. Lovely little one two there with Wilfus Gerald. And he was on hand, the side footed into the bottom left corner. Really well worth goal from Sligo Rovers. And fantastic as well, Declan, that they've been able to take the lead despite going down to 10 men. Yeah, listen, a brilliant goal down the left hand side. And it was all about the left hand side of the pitch when Reese was, Hudson was on the ball, played it out to Wolf Fitzgerald, played it back to him. And then obviously Reese came forward and drove into the space, committed the defenders to come out. And just as that, he popped it off to the left hand side. And there was Wolf, Wolf Fitzgerald, got to the byline and pulled the back straight back to Reese Hutchinson. He put it in, not a brilliant connection, but he got enough in it to put it in the low into the near post. It's a brilliant, a brilliant, brilliant goal. By, by has to go back to Nando Pinecker. Really patient stuff here from the 10 men of Sligo Rovers. Radosayevich, heavy ball there, but it's Nando Pinecker's clearance. Charged down by Ben McCormick. He's able to run into space here. Tommy Lonergan's up in support as his own Doyle. Still with Ben McCormick. Puts one through Nando Pinecker's legs. Doyle squares it across and it falls to Tommy Lonergan. And he's going to wonder how on earth did he miss that? It loads of space there at the back of the po at the back post. He probably thought that Niall Morham was going to get something on it as he tried to recover across Declan Boyle. But you can see here, Dom, loads lovely little through ball here on Nando Pineacker's leg. Great cross ball across from Owen Doyle and Lonergan there, and loads of space. He yeah. just needs to touch it in, yeah. and it'll be one one. But uh, yes. a bad miss from the old oh, to nil ball. here. And St Pat's desperately trying to turn the screw on the ten men of Sligo Rovers to try and get at least something at least a point out of this game. It's with Jamie Lennon now, the centre mid, finds Chris Forrester in space. Forrester lines up a strike, and what a goal from Chris Forrester! Oh my word, Declan Boyle, he just had the time and space, and that's the kind of quality Chris Forrester possesses. Turned, found the space, and rifled the shot into the top left corner. There was no stopping that from Chris Forrester, and no, that's an absolute beauty of a okay. strike. Just Bit of a late challenge, but he's okay, I think. We'll see it here on the replay. It's this the ball is the from goal, Jamie. Yep. Ball from Jamie. First touch Lennon. sets it up. And just what a strike. Yeah. Absolute rocket. Yeah, Joe next. Redmond. Pat's yeah. looking very comfortable now. Another calm ball from Jamie Lennon. Sprayed out to Jake Mulraney, who's been quiet in these last few minutes, but a chance to make hay for himself here. Now, puts the ball into the box, headed away there by Johan Branafalk. And again by Niall Moore and Forrester just chests it down for himself. It looks to repeat the trick again. Shifts pass on to his left boot and sticks it into the bottom corner. Great save there from Luke McNicholas to stop that find in the bottom right corner. And Chris Forrester has stood up Declan Boyle and taken this game by the scruff of the neck. A corner now to St. Patrick's Athletic. Yeah, brilliant play again by Forrester. Picks it up in a really good area. Looks to play a strike. It brings it inside. Ross, takes two out of the game. Behind you, and the, and the case of St. Pat's have to break on it, but especially the recent Pat's are playing, they have momentum now. That wonderful goal 
Um, Chris Forrester and then obviously another brilliant strike as well from him. And we just need to be careful of them, but they have the width um, all the time with Jake Mulroney out there on the right hand side and Mark Doy on the left hand side. Max Matter there to do really well to win the free kicks. Fabrice Hartman now lines up a strike and sticks it into the bottom corner. Back of the net for Fabrice Hartman, marking his first time for Sligo Rovers. He joined in July last, last summer, had to wait to make his debut due to a registration error. My God, Declan Boyle, has he waited for that goal? Sligo Rovers lead here by a scoreline of two goals to one. Fabrice Hartman, welcome to the showgrounds. Ah, what a wonderful finish. And it just, I mean, it was a free kick right down below us here on the right-hand side. Some pats have totally turned their back on the play and switched off. Took a quick free kick down that side. The whole whole wing was opened up down our right-hand side. Him on the left foot, to come inside for peace, and it just opened up, and you're thinking, go and hit it, now go and hit it. And he just opened up his body, and he just placed it into the far left-hand corner. John Mahon was sent off. And Listen to the roar here in the showgrounds. The Sligo Rovers look like they're about to cling on here for three points. What will be three huge points after losing John Mahon so early? Carlos Sullivan, Will Fitzgerald and Caleb Barrett getting in each other's way, but it's with Max Matter now, and the referee has done it. He's blown the final whistle, and Sligo Rovers have hung on here for three massive points in the showground. Sligo Rovers 2, St. Patrick's Athletic 1. Look at Caelan Barlow down there with the fans with Max Matter. You can see how much it means to the Rovers players. They had to dig in deep, Declan and Boyle, after John Mahon was dismissed on 20 minutes, playing almost 70 minutes of the game with 10 men. Fantastic goals from Chris Forrester, from Reese Hutchinson, and from Fabrice Hartman as well. And Chris Forrester, of course, to... to try and get St. Pat's back into it. Tim Clancy does not look too happy 